Hi everybody, it's Michelle with Grapevine Magazine and I am here today at One Fine Food in Peterborough and we are chatting with Executive Chef Stefan. Good morning, Stefan. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Great, thanks. I wanted to let all of our readers um, and of course folks watching our YouTube channel yeah. know a little bit more about One Fine Food here mm -hmm. in Peterborough and, um, and introduce you to them okay. as the Executive Chef here because yes, maybe please. some people aren't familiar with the fact that we have a restaurant. Yes as well as the bakery, as well as the deli and everything. So I wanted to ask a few questions. Um, what inspired you to become a chef? Um, you know, growing up in Germany, uh, well, after you finish school, uh, you go to an employment office. Um, they kind of assess you, your interests and everything. And I came up as a, I could have been a baker, a hairdresser or a chef. <laughs> uh, I'm happy I didn't chose hairdresser. So, and I was always passionate about cooking. Yeah. I did a lot of cooking with my mother and my grandmother when I, when I was younger. Yeah, so they were a big influence on you then. Oh yes, for sure. Yeah. For and that sure. was it. Was it in Germany? That, yes. Yeah. Sure. Right. Right. Um, what would you say is your cul culinary like philosophy or style of? Well, of the cooking? philosophy in the kitchen is that we all lead by example, and uh, everybody does everything. Um, we do. We like to make everything homemade and from scratch. Uh, don't really use any uh, many convenient products. Uh, That's the best way. We make all our own pasta, and we're lucky we have the market. And we can use our butcher and the bakery as well. They make everything homemade, so that's so, the philosophy. So you're using everything within one fine food oh, yes, in the sure. kitchen yes, as exactly. well. And we like to support uh, local uh, as well. So we have lots of local farmers that we work with. That's as well. great. That's great. Keeping it local, you know, that hundred mile radius or yes, whatever. For sure. um, could you share a memorable kitchen experience that sticks out for you um, over the course of your your culinary? Well, you know, um, working with my wife definitely uh, shaped me into the chef that I am today. Wow, yeah. um, she was working in the front of the house as a server and bartender for most of her life. Um, and working with her, she really made me uh, appreciate more what the front of the house stuff does as well. And that it's a whole effort of the whole team to make a restaurant successful. Right. So. Absolutely. Well, and, and how was that working with your wife? That must have been challenging at times. Um, <laughs> the first cut, we worked probably in five or six restaurants together now. Um, the first couple were definitely uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's hard to uh, you know separate private life and work life sometimes. It is, especially for her. It was, I've been there. So, <laughs> but you know exactly that's what, what made me the chef today. I'm a way more calm and collected uh, person. Yeah, gone and are, chef. Gone are uh, the days of the, the the executive chef in the kitchen oh, yes, yelling sure. and, no, we and screaming. No, do we don't do that. That's not our company. Folks, it happened for many years. <laughs> um, it's changed now. Um, how do you stay innovative and keep up with food trends? Um, you know, it's just, I just like to involve everybody in the kitchen uh, with it. You know, it's not just uh, my way or the highway, um, especially for menu changes or specials. Um, I like to, uh, you know, uh, get everybody's uh, creativity. Uh, you know, everybody has ideas. We have 20 something staff in the kitchen, when so they all want to showcase what they know and they all want to practice and try. And, and uh, yeah, so that's what we do, you know, like, we're so it's a collaborative, effect. exactly. It, yes. You know, yeah, it's an effort of everybody. Yes, yes. that's a good way to be yes. in a kitchen too. Yes. Yeah, yes. I've always been that way as well. Um, all right, another one. Uh, what are your favorite? Do you have a favorite ingredient to work with, Chef Stefan? Um, most favorite, most likely uh, mushrooms. I really love mushrooms. All sorts of, uh, especially stuff that comes in season when it's forged. Yeah, favorite mushrooms probably is chanterelles. Um, I'd have to go forge it back in the day with my parents back home. We used to go, right. um, and around here, yeah, there's some some good spots as well. There are, yes. there definitely are. Uh, what advice would you give uh, to an aspiring chef? Um, well, you know, you got to put in the time, and you have to have passion. That's the main thing. It's still a very passion-driven industry. Uh, takes a long time to get somewhere. Definitely not a craft you will master easily or ever. So right. it's, constantly, a it's a continuing. Constantly, I'm still learning now uh, from new people that I hire all the time. Um, so you got to be passionate, put in the time, and you got to work for. Uh, if you want to be a great chef, you got to work for great chefs. Right, right, and you got to start down on that. Yes. Rung yes. on the ladder, and then kind of gently work your exactly. way your exactly. way up, yes. and that's that's one of the yeah. only ways to to do it to be a chef. All right. Well, it's been lovely chatting with you, well, getting you to know you, um, you for our for our readers of Grapevine Magazine. Yeah, One Fine fun. Foods on the front cover this fall, folks. Um, the this whole story is inside. Uh, you can read more about One Fine Food. And if you are in the neighborhood of Peterborough, by all means, drop on by. We've got the restaurant. You've got the bakery. We've got the deli, the butcher, um, all these fresh vegetables, yeah, and then amazing. a lot of other things here to offer. So it's a, it's a really a, a wonderful place. 
to come and shop. I think it's one-stop shopping. Yes, exactly, right? <laughs> and you can eat too, have dinner. <laughs> yes. All right. Great. Well, thanks so much. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. It was great having me. It was thank great you. chatting with you today. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Stefan.